Now in this video about Notebook LM, which of course last video I was calling Notebook LLM, it's Notebook LM, things have come a long way since that last video only a few days ago. In this video I promised I'd show you the results from my video editor who did their version of the edit on top of the audio file I supplied and that is here. I'm going to show it to you at the end of this video because things have come a long way since then. That's this video. Okay, so you know how everyone's promising instant SEO results these so that's the video from my editor which I'll put at the end of this video. What we're going to talk about today is to improve it dramatically further and something interesting I learned. I learned, <laughs> I thought we'll do this second um, example on my website Evo4, our amazing SEO software. I'll show you the content, update, 87 languages, lots of great content for Notebook LM to work from. That's all text. Okay, you get the idea. So I did what I you typically did. Click on website, add the URL, and then wait for it to provide the interview. So it did that. It was a 10 minute interview, and basically it just bagged all of our features in um, this interview. So of course it's Google, and it's telling you bucket sites don't work bucket sites are spammy and it went on like that so I thought okay this is not good um, particularly not good for an interview I'm doing on how great notebook LM is so then I did it again and then this time after it read the website I clicked on these two suggested terms and then saved those as notes and then I generated the audio and the audio came out great there was only one part I wasn't happy with so first of all eight minutes is way too long the idea is to download this audio which i'll show you and then what we're going to do is swap the voices from the default google lm interview voices change two different voices cut this down to a reasonable listening or viewing period and turn that into and then we'll have a much shorter interview which is more concise and straight to the point so let's do that download the audio download so i'm going to use Camtasia but you can use Audacity which is a free audio editing program. I'm going to drag this down here. I won't bore you with it but I will go through this audio and remove the parts like the intro. You don't need the intro. Really refine this interview into a more palatable amount of time. We all respect people's time so we want to make this information as short as possible. So I'm going to get rid of all the parts that aren't really pitching my product. Okay, so here you can see that I've reduced that eight minute file down to four minutes. And it turns out it's pretty easy. For a lot of topics it discovers, it offers the pros and cons. So I just remove the cons and it's all pro. So I've got four minutes of premium content created by Google about Evo 4. That took a few minutes to do, it was just easy, just remove the cons, cut them out, and it reduced it down to four minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is copy that and paste it. So we have two lines of audio. Now what I'm gonna do is separate the males from the female voice. And from there, once I've done that, I'm gonna change those audio files and replace one female voice with another and the other male voice with a different male voice so then when you listen to it it won't be automatically known that it's a notebook lm interview so it's very simple to do i'm going to keep the top line as the male voice and the bottom line as the female voice i'll just do one edit to give you the idea hey everyone and welcome ai for seo is just exploding right now and wouldn't you know it there's a new player on the field claiming to have cracked the code evo4 okay so that's the male voice up and whoops claiming to have cracked the code. Evio. So here I'm going to cut that out. And that's the male voice up the top and the female voice down the bottom. Evio 4. Right. Evio 4. Evio 4. Right. Evio 4. Right. Okay, so you can see that I've got two audio files, the top line is the male, the bottom line is the female, I'll now save them and then I'll show you how to change the voices. Okay, so here we are at, at 11 Labs, this in the voice changer section. I've got my two audio files here, the male and the female. So I'm just gonna choose the male voice 
I think we've got an Aussie one. I'm going to try and choose a voice that's really different from the Google voice. So I'm going to go with this voice. Okay, so we've got Paul's voice and I'll drag in the mail audio file and click on generate speech. Okay, I'm really happy with this. Hey everyone and welcome. AI for SEO is just exploding right now. And wouldn't you know it, there's a new player on the field claiming to have cracked the code. Okay, cool. Now I'll do the female voice. So I found another female Australian voice. I'll click on generate speech. Okay, and here's the female Australian voice. And it is a lot, I'll give them that. The sheer breadth of features is impressive. I mean, they're really aiming to be a one-stop shot for all things SEO, which, you know, makes you wonder, can they actually deliver on all those promises? Very cool. So now I'll put them both in Camtasia and we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, so you've you can see female voice Emily there, male voice Paul, and let's see how it goes. Hey everyone and welcome. AI for SEO is just exploding right now. And wouldn't you know it, there's a new player on the field claiming to have cracked the code. EVO4. Or EVO4. It's like they went down the SEO checklist and said, yeah, we can do that and that, oh, and that too. We're talking AI content in dozens of languages, instant websites with killer domain ratings, even Google business profile optimization ambitious much so for this deep dive we dove headfirst into evo4's marketing materials to see what's up and it is a lot i'll give them that the sheer breadth of features is impressive i mean they're really aiming to be a one-stop shot for all things seo which you know makes you wonder can they actually deliver on all those promises especially that whole 87 languages thing 87 i could barely order a pizza in two languages but imagine you could be crushing the competition in markets they haven't even heard of just hit translate and boom instant global domination. The potential of AI power translation for SEO is huge. Reaching a global audience without needing a team of translators, sign me up. What about these high DR bucket sites they keep mentioning? It's like their secret sauce for instant ranking or something? Right, their marketing really leans on that. The idea is they build your site on these high DR buckets, high domain rating, and that supposedly gives you instant street cred in Google's eyes. EVO4's marketing is really playing up their founder, Peter Drew. Oh yeah, Peter Drew. Yeah, they've got him quoted calling himself one of the world's foremost authorities on SEO automation. And then there's this other little tidbit they keep dropping. Brute Force SEO. Should we be worried? What is Brute Force SEO? Well, that's where things get interesting. Peter Drew's history with Brute Force SEO goes way back. Imagine, like, the Wild West of SEO. Okay, hold on. Paint me a picture. What does the Wild West of SEO look like? So picture this. Thousands of websites springing up overnight, link farms as far as the eye can see, and content. It was all about exploiting loopholes and pushing the limits of what search engines would tolerate. Often using automated tools and tactics, you can see some crazy results. But let's get down to brass tacks here. How much is this SEO magic going to cost us? Right, let's talk pricing. Because EVO4 has these tiers. Silver, gold, platinum. They're giving you the keys to the SEO kingdom, but we need to break down these tiers and see what's what. So walk us through it. What do you get with each tier? Okay, so the Silder plan, from what I can tell, is geared towards smaller projects. You get a limited number of projects per month, basic features, you know, the essentials, gold bumps things up a bit. You get more projects, some additional features, like maybe some advanced reporting tools or something. Okay, but platinum, that's the one they're really pushing. What's the deal with platinum? Platinum is where they pull out all the stocks, unlimited projects, all the bells and whistles, priority support. They even mention some kind of exclusive training program. It's like they're saying, if you're serious about SEO domination, this is the ticket. Speaking of which, they do brag about having the best support team in the industry, even mentioning training by a guy named Bradley Benner. Does that name ring a bell? Bradley Benner, yeah, I've heard of him. He's got a decent reputation in the SEO world. I've seen him at a few conferences. He, he seems to know his stuff. Okay, so there's some legitimacy there. So we've covered a lot of ground with EDO4, from AI translations to those high DR buckets. Because AI is so hot right now and EVO4 makes some big promises, that multilingual thing is seriously tempting. Look for those independent reviews, talk to people who have actually used EVO4, see if it aligns with your specific goals and your budget. Okay, so the takeaway for our listeners today, EVO4 is an interesting tool with some potentially powerful features. And on that note, we'll wrap up this deep dive into EVO4. Big thanks to our expert for breaking it all down for us. Until next time, happy optimizing. Very, very cool. So now you can enter your, your 
web address into note notebook lm create the audio file edit it in an editor like uh, camtasia or audacity which is an open source program and it's much higher quality than this so you download the, the WAV file edit out all the cons reduce it down to a more palatable duration separate the male and female voices go to 11labs.io use their voice changer and you end up with a product like that so now i'm going to go to go back to fiverr and send this much shorter file this is how much my video editor charged me for an eight minute video and the price was higher because i wanted her to do it sooner so now i'm going to send her a um this four minute file and get her to update it as i promised in the last video now i will show you the full video that she created from the notebook lm interview of entity ranker here's the video that my editor created for me and i'm really happy with it the only thing is i added the caps okay so you know how everyone's promising instant seo results these days right. like rank higher overnight it's easy to be skeptical yeah and we should be right this entity ranker ai thing though it's got some buzz. Mm. They're saying it's a whole new approach and even tossing around terms like leaked Google API documents. Interesting. Yeah, definitely gets your attention. But we're diving into it today to see if it's legit. Absolutely. Could it actually work? Because that's what matters, right? Yeah, for sure. One of the things that stood out to me was this whole Google entities thing. Okay. And I know that can sound jargony. It does sound a little jargony. So could you break down what that actually yeah. means? Sure. So Google's focus has shifted from simply matching keywords to actually understanding the meaning behind the words on your website. Right. And entities are at the heart of that. So Google's trying to figure out what your content is really about, not just what words you're using. Precisely. They want to connect searchers with the most relevant information. So if you're writing about best hiking trails, entities help Google understand that you're talking about specific locations, their difficulty levels, scenery, maybe even user reviews, all the rich context. Okay, so it's like giving Google that deeper understanding. But how does Entity Ranker AI use these entities? They claim their AI engine crafts content that's not just keyword rich, but also structured in a way that aligns with these relevant entities, making it easier for Google to digest and rank. Gotcha. And they seem really keen on the whole Google site angle too. Man. Like building your site on Google's platform is the secret weapon. Yeah, they're playing into Google's ecosystem. Exactly. And they say that gives you an edge. Which strategically makes sense. Google tends to, you know, give a little preference to its own properties. Makes you wonder if it's true. So from what I've gathered, you basically feed Entity Ranker AI your keywords, your business info, maybe some images. Yeah. And then their AI engine handles the rest and spits out a five page Google site. That's the idea. Yes. Sounds almost too easy. They have definitely streamlined it, making it user friendly, even for those who aren't SEO experts. But even with that streamlined approach, they're using some smart tactics. For example, they emphasize internal and external linking, particularly to your Google business profile. Ah, yes. Link juice. Exactly. I hear that's important. It is. Link juice basically refers to how links from one page pass authority and value to another. And when that juice comes from a trusted source like your Google business profile, it carries even more weight. Okay. So it sounds like a pretty impressive package, at least in theory. Yeah. But what about results in the real world? Mm. Do we actually know if this whole entity thing actually gets results? That's the million dollar question, right? Yeah. And to their credit, they have a ton of testimonies from their beta testers. Right. All claiming amazing results, like really impressive stuff. Yeah, I did see those. And they even encourage you to reach out. Yeah. To join their members only group and actually connect with those beta testers. It's a smart move for sure. You see all those glowing reviews and it's like, well, maybe this is the real deal. They're using social proof. Yeah, exactly. Social proof is huge. If you're on the fence about something and you see someone else having success, it's really persuasive. And then giving people that access right. to those other users, I mean, that adds a level of transparency for sure. It makes you want to believe it, you know? Although I will say that TurboWare seal of approval on their website, I'm not sure what a TurboWare is, right. but it sounds official. <laughs> That's the point. But yeah, I think it always makes sense to look at these things critically. Yeah. Right? Are these testimonials the norm? or are they outliers? Exactly. Could there be other factors at play? Right, we gotta keep our skeptical hats on. Speaking of things that make you raise an eyebrow, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the price tag. Yearly and monthly plans are pretty standard, but they're also offering this lifetime deal. 
And then on top of that, there's a 25% off discount code floating around. Mm -hmm. Easy to get tempted. It is tempting. It's like, mm -hmm. how can I say no to that? Right. But it all comes down to value, right? Like, yeah. is this thing actually worth it? Exactly. You have to weigh the potential return on investment against the cost, especially for your specific situation. That's true. They do really emphasize the value of their exclusive SEO community though, right? Yeah. Like you get access to this group of SEO gurus with all this experience and insider tips. It's true. And that can be really valuable. I mean, having access to that kind of community, especially with SEO, it changes all the time. All the time. So yeah, having access to people who are really in it. The trenches. Yeah, exactly. That can be super valuable. So we've got the AI content, the Google site strategy, the whole entity focus, the community aspect. Mm. It's a lot. It makes you wonder, is this all too good to be true? That's what we need to figure out. I mean, it's one thing to have cool features. Right. It's another thing entirely to actually deliver. I mean, it's like they took all these pieces and put yeah. it together. Yeah. But yeah. that doesn't automatically mean it's going to work. Right? right, right. They're tapping into some really powerful stuff. Yeah. But SEO is a long game. It's not about instant gratification. It's about building up authority, providing real value, and staying ahead of those algorithm changes. Yeah, it's tempting to think there's some magic shortcut out there. I know, right? But I have a feeling it really depends on how you use it. Exactly. Because okay. let's just say, hypothetically, that Entity Ranker AI does everything it claims to do. Mm -hmm. It builds a fantastic site, optimizes it perfectly, even get those backlinks flowing. That's amazing but it's still just the first step. Okay, so what happens after you hit publish? That's when the real work starts. Yeah. You've got to promote that content, engage with your audience, really analyze what's working and what's not, and then you're constantly refining your strategy. There's no tool mm -hmm. that can replace that. Right, no matter how good it sounds, I've definitely been burned before thinking a tool would do it all. Oh, I think we've all been there. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. that's important to remember, right? It is. Incident Ranker AI could be a great tool, mm -hmm. but it's not magic. You have to be realistic about it. So as you wrap things up here, what are some things people should be thinking about if they're considering Entity Ranker AI? I'd say focus on the fundamentals. Does it align with your SEO goals? Are you ready to put in the work? And can you afford to try it out knowing that results aren't guaranteed? Those are really good points to consider. Weigh those benefits against the costs and how much time you can actually dedicate to it. Exactly. Well, there you have it, folks. Our deep dive into Entity Ranker AI. We've gone through the features, looked at their approach, and hopefully given you the information you need to decide if it's right for you. Absolutely. And remember, no shortcuts in SEO, just smart strategies and consistent work. Until next time, happy optimizing. Okay, that edit was spectacular. This is how simple it is to create amazing video content these days. Go to Notebook LM, enter the website address, get the audio file, send it to Fiverr, Boom, you get that. It's insane. And now you can go to Notebook LM, put your web address in, create the audio file, edit that audio file. When it picks up features, it gives the pros and cons. Remove the cons. Just focus on the features. Reduce the size down so it's much more palatable. Because we respect people's time, we want to squeeze as much content into a shorter period as possible. Grab that audio file, send it to Fiverr. I'm going to drop the link to my editor in the first comment below this video. Feel free to use her. She's epic. If you tell her you're a friend of mine, she will give you a discount. Very cool. So there you have it. What an amazing time to be alive. This AI is changing everything and I've got so much AI stuff coming. You will not believe it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.